Hello friends, welcome to my next video tutorial of ETAPS 2016 Concrete Structure Analysis and Design video tutorial series. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to assign dead load and live load uh, on the model. So, first assign load on slab. I have this is a residential project, so 40 psf live load as per my code and 20 psf dead load for floor finish and also partition wall minimum 25 psf. So, to start this video, go to here select then select object type floor select close you can see all the floor has been selected now assign sh shell load second on uniform first dead load is 25 apply ok click here now get previous selection now go to here again assign shell load uniform and live load i have 40 psf live load and partition wall load so if you see this beam layout plan i have some additional partition wall here and also here so if you calculate the weight of this partition wall you can do the length is 14 feet approximately and 5 feet here so if you calculate here 14 plus 5 then the thickness of the wall uh, width of the wall is 0.41 which is 5 inch then height is 9.57 this is 5 inch deducted from the full height then 120 is the unit weight of machinery and then i have calculated divided this weight by the panel area you can see here the panel area is 16 feet 1 by 14 feet 2 so the value is almost 40 psf so i have for this panel 40 plus 40 80 this panel 40 plus 40 but in this panel i have 40 plus minimum 25 so 65 but on an average i am assigning load uh, say 70 psf but you have to for more specific result you have to assign on a specific panel but i am showing you just a uniform load so 70 apply okay so if you want to assign more live load on any panel then you have to select this one then go to the same way and change the value here okay the load on and you can see here this is my stair and i have minimum 80 psi of live load here so select this panel go to here assign uniform load and this will be 80 apply okay change and here i have this slab thickness 9 inch but it will be maximum of 7 inch to 6 inch with slab thickness and i have also additional step weight that's why i have assigned that as 9 inch so that the weight of step is counted here if you want to calculate this step weight then you can calculate and you can add that with the dead load 25 psf as floor finish but if you don't want then you can just increase the slab thickness to counteract the dead load of stair step so a uh, floor load definition is done then uh, now i have now i have to assign load on beam go to here same way select select object type beams select close so if you select this way all the beam on your floor will be selected and if you want to select on individual floor then you have to select manually uh, in this way it will select all member on the whole model so be careful while selecting the member now go to here assign then frame load distributed and if i want to calculate the load i have the load which is 0.41 is width 1 feet length 8.33 uh, which is beam depth 20 is deducted from 10 feet height then 120 is my unit weight it is 409.83 almost 410 pound per feet linear load this should be 0.41 then keep per feet apply ok and here I have assigned this load if you go to here this perspective toggle and rotate this you can see the load here and also here I have this veranda load which is for my veranda railing and drop wall so if I consider this as 3 feet plus 3 feet 3 feet drop wall 3 feet railing 3 inch concrete then I have to, the load is here 6 feet height 0.25 is thickness 1 feet length 150 is unit weight 2 to 5 pound per feet so select this null line i have created that to assign this load go to here assign 
frame load distributed and this will be 0.2 to 5 keep perfect this is dead load apply ok so done and if you have any other thick wall say 10 inch or any other thick on any beam then you have to select that beam manually and you have to change the load and if you don't have if you don't have any load on any beam then you have to select that beam and you have to assign zero load then it will be zero loaded beam so this way you can assign dead load and live load on your model so thanks for watching my this video if you like this video subscribe my channel and see you in the next video